All right, guys. So I've had several people ask me how I pull the time lapses from the P1P into a video. Let's take care of that. Percival, what are you doing? What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? He doesn't want to look at y'all. All right. <laughs> so we're going to start by uh, pulling the micro SD card out of the machine. I know. Challenging task. All right. Now that we have our SD card, let's go ahead and throw it in the computer. Also, sorry for uh, recording a screen with a screen again. I'm still trying to sort out my video editing. So after we got the SD card in, we're gonna come down here to cam. We've got a bunch of video files. Uh, these are all actually a bunch of screenshots, really. So I'm not quite sure where to start here num numerically. But you see you got 67, 68, 69, nice. 70, 71, 72, so on and so forth. Um, not all of these are from individual prints. A lot of these are the same print, just uh, start to finish. It doesn't do it all in one big chunk, so let's just see what this one is. Uh, go ahead and choose media player for now. If that works, there we go. Yeah, see, so, come on. You can see it's only part of one video file. So I'm gonna sort out what I need here for what I wanna do, and we're gonna pull it into one of the video editors I'm testing out. And uh, we'll go from there, be right back. All right, so we've got a bunch of our clips uh, loaded in here for us to use in, what is this, Ch Clip Champ? I want to say Chimp Clamp, I have no idea. <laughs> um, so we're just going to drag and drop. And before we do any of this, I want to say, uh, I think I may have found something I would consider an issue. Maybe it's a bug, I'm not sure. It seems after video clip 79 on the P1P, on the uh, SD card, it starts to delete and re-record over clip zero. Um, so I had to actually start at 69, clip 69 here, and went up to 79, and then it, after 79, it went back to zero. I was a little confused, I was like, where'd the rest of the files go? Also, it's got a bit of a the last scene from a previous clip, from a previous recording, excuse me. That's why you see this little dragon here. As soon as I hit play, it disappears though. See, and then it goes to what I'm printing next. Yeah, so we're gonna have to get all of our clips in here, uh, edit whatever you don't want in, like all this, I'd probably edit out of the final uh, time lapse. And the one issue with this being with this time lapse is that oh my gosh, it is so slow. Uh, just these two clips, and we're already at three minutes and forty-four seconds. Right. So what I'll do here is increase the speed, which on Clip Champ, it's over here under speed. It's actually super simple. Drag this back over here. the speed on this one as well 16 okay so they're both time 16 and so that leads to 14 seconds of I want to say around 32 clips 32 clips is 14 seconds or two out of the 32 is 14 seconds uh, what I did with the last one on a different video editing software was get all of them together, max all of the speed out, which was literally, I think, 100 times speed, and then save that, bring it back in, and then I did it times two. And that got it to a decent speed. 
But yeah, that's about it. If you have any questions, guys, if you have any questions, guys, let me know. Um, I'll finish this out and I'll get this time lapse up at the end of this video. And I'll probably put it out as a short as well. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.